from the Times Union Center in Albany, New York. This is Siena College Basketball on Time Warner Cable Sports Channel. Today, a late season MAC matchup as the Golden Griffins of Canisius battle the Saints of Siena. Welcome those of you watching statewide on, on Time Warner Cable Sports Channel. Our friends out in Buffalo, home of Canisius through Western New York as Rob scores again, 13 points. White takes it to the basket strong and scores. 7-0 run for Siena. Saints lead 22-17. Defense rather than the full court. Billy Barron knocks down the three. He's got 20 points. Canisius can tie or take the lead here. Rainey buries the jumper and we're tied. Perez. Gives Canisius the lead. Saints still with just one field goal in the last seven and a half minutes. And not doing much on this possession. Eight to shoot. Ball screen from Bisping. Himes the long three. Barrens it. Evan Himes first three of the game. Gives Sienna the lead. 65-63. Barron with four. Barron dribbles in, steps back. Shoots a desperation three. No good. We're going to overtime. Super ball game here today. It's been the norm rather than the exception this year at the time. Union Center's pull knocks down the three. And Barron's taking the ball out of bounds. Watch the ball coming right back to Barron. He's got it. He'll shoot for the win. Double overtime. Perez going for a fourth. It's good. Chris Perez with 25. And Canisius takes the lead. Right free for the tie. Four seconds, throws it to Perez, shoots it for the win, tipped up no good, triple overtime. Barron shakes pool, Bleeker a three, and Kelly Bleeker, his third three-pointer of the season, gives Canisius the lead. They go to pool, strong take to the basket, score it, and the foul. 32 points for Rob Poole. With 50 seconds to go, Canisius will host the timeouts left. Barron puts it on the deck. Barron scores on the foul. Bill Barron with 37. Oliver a three. And Canisius comes away with a 92-88 triple overtime victory. Well, wow, another... Heartbreaking defeat for the Saints. Exciting game. Great basketball played by both teams. I'm really proud of Ryan Oliver stepping up and Jamie on making those free throws were big. We're working on it. We gotta get it just cut a little further. Rob Poole's been great. Poole's fun to coach because you challenge him and he steps up to it. And I thought Brett did really good in the second half. You know, his first half took a little while. Brett was a little shook, as he should be, you know, because that wasn't a very good ending to the game. I don't blame Brett, but he blamed himself, which I appreciate, but I was really glad Brett, Brett shook it off at the end.